Planet Zoo has been rated E10 plus by the MSRB for crude humor, mild blood, and mild violence. It has been approved for all persons ages 10 and over. This video is brought to you in part by The Night Sheriff by Phil Foglio. Bartholomew Xenon Xenon Land is protected by the Night Sheriff. Day and night, he's burdened by a witch's curse to be aware of all that live and play within the massive fantasy theme park. Now an attack on the park by a monster hunter who knows far too much threatens everything. The guests, the staff, and the supernaturals who take refuge in the park. The Night Sheriff must scramble to uncover not only the source of the threat, but the secrets of the park of which even he was not aware. If he doesn't, he may be doomed. The park may be doomed. And even the world may be doomed. And that's a lot of doom. Go to Amazon.com for your copy today. Hey kids, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Prairie Haven Zoo Project here in Planet Zoo. Um, the last time you heard from me was the special announcement video where I was talking about the wetlands pack and that I was going to basically do a redesign of the zoo um, organizing it better, making it uniformly, you know, give it a uniform look and all that number. Well, I wanted to give you guys an update. I have almost completely put all... <laughs> that, that was bad grammar. Basically, uh, what I'm trying to say here is that I've pretty much put all the animals that were already in the zoo back in the zoo. I did tear everything down. I, I, I know I said I wasn't, I wasn't planning on doing it, but I went ahead and did it anyway. Um, I tore everything down and I rebuilt it, and a lot of the uh, habitats now look completely different. For example, this is the dole habitat. Um, you know, it was basically a big square the first time, but now it's not. The Bentarongs still have their uh, aviary, but it's not a big sea anymore. Um, you know, I moved the pangolin house. This is the new uh, Komodo dragon habitat. Yes, I know it looks real fancy. It's it's designed after the Angkor Wat temple. Um, you know, over here we have the peafowl and then the African dogs. And in the middle we have a big multi-species habitat. Now, I do want to say this. I added sable antelope. Otherwise, this... Uh, you know, Oh, and, and wildebeest. But otherwise, this central savanna habitat has the zebras it has uh the springbok um it has the warthogs all in one big thing oh um but but i did add three three species and that is the thompson's gazelles the sable antelope which are over here looks like yeah there's there's a sable antelope and the wildebeest and that was just basically to round out the species um I'm not going to be adding any more species to this savanna habitat, but I did like how it came out. Um, over here are the pronghorn antelopes, and we have the Nile monitors right there. And down here are the Gimsbach. Um, what else we have? We have over here, here's uh, here's the llamas. You know, they're doing... You know, when, when they lay, lay down to sleep, they look like they're dead, don't they? Uh, I gave the giant otters a lot more room to swim and they're happier and then we have the uh, uh, the dwarf came in here and the giant tortoise is there I did separate those guys out um, and back over here we have the beard's tapir and the monkeys so, like I said, I did add back, you know, almost, it's, it's almost complete. Um, I think what I need, aside from the cassowaries, what I need to add are the okapi, and then I'll have all of the species from the original zoo back in here. And this is going to be my cassowary habitat. Ah, one of the phoenixes just died. Um, anyway, guys, yeah, I, I wanted to give you that update. Um, 
I also decided not to do new videos for old species. I wasn't going to double up. I mean, yes, I'm in the middle. Obviously, you can see I'm in the middle of building a cassowary habitat, and it it's going to be a cool habitat. And you know, it's going to be different than the habitat that I that that I originally had. But I'm not going to do a whole nother episode with cassowaries. The next brand new episode, and it'll be the ap the episode after this, is going to be the southern white rhino. And I'm going to be putting them here, right here, the southern white rhinoceros. Um, and after that, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but that's definitely going to be the next an next new animal. And uh, but but I'm going to be finishing. I'm going to be finishing the uh, 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 putting all the old animals back first. So anyway, yeah, that's the new zoo. And I hope you join me for the future. I think it's going to look, you know, because if you notice, um, it's all a uniform look now. You see? It's it's all a uniform look. It looks like it was a, it's a zoo run by one big company. And I like the look. This is something I cannot, I, I cannot really grasp. The, they bunch up right around the savanna habitat. The savanna habitat is not does not contain the most popular animal. That would be the binarongs. But while there are people around the binarongs, it's not like the crowds that gather around the you know, I, I can't get them to, to depopulate this area. Oh well, I expect that when I start adding animals like the lions and the cheetahs, they'll move out of that area. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think in the in the comments below if you liked what you saw now please hit that like button if you haven't subscribed already please do so um i could use them and uh yeah i will see you in the next episode which will be right uh the the uh, southern white rhino and uh yeah i'm looking forward to it i hope you're looking forward to it too i will talk to you later bye bye